wind. Yeah, he's about two weeks too early on this one. Here's JC. Big Johnson Charles. Stand name after him there in St. Lucia. And ready to go because he's going to have to go some from the get-go. Up against Mitch in the long. Top edge. And boom! It's gone all the way. Here's six more. Well, that's the problem with all the sheer pace. You dig it in, someone swings the top edges in. It's going to fly. He is bowling with the breeze. It's just helping it out. A huge shoulders of Delanga. Go with that incredible tash. See this ball fly all the way for six. Wow, that has gone a long way off a top edge. If you're going to swing hard, you've got to give it everything. And he did there, Johnson Charles. Underway with a maxim. Fly is that again the loft cutter. It is uh, a go to slow one. Fletcher now on strike. Going so. Yeah, Faf. Now, can't blame him. Uh, Chase is huge total. You've got to take risks. Lost all his shape there to Plessy. Not really his game to try and tee off. Beautiful bit of bowling. Just made with himself, Faf. That's a happy bench in yellow. Next, please, here's six more. The great way to get rock and rolling from the Spice Man. Stand and deliver. What a shot this is. Smoked it indeed. Got a bit of a step down the wicket. Never looks at the ball. Keeps looking at the bowler. What are you looking at, Val? This has gone a country mile. Spice Man indeed. A little wink from Superman. He doesn't mind. No, he doesn't. Love the follow through a little. Kick of the heels at the end from Fletcher. Ah, brilliant! The same return that Faf got at the beginning of the over. Spice Man's got it again. Plus full delivery, not allowing a lot of time. Just muscled it to Paul Sterling. Another wicket. Zazai has to go. It's now 71 for five. Five down are the Tigers. And DeLunger again in the wickets. In white ball cricket. Oh, this is sweet. Beautifully picked up here from Benny Howe. He's joined now by uh, James Franklin. Faulkner, rather. Tricky. But he's batting at the right temple. Oh. Using the pace, getting inside the line, knowing exactly where the fielders are, fix the gap. You need a lot more boundaries. Required rate to inching closer to 20 knob over. Straight up! Who wants it? In the night sky, they're never easy. Livingston himself takes a very good steepler and suddenly the Tigers are six down. And it's a ball for Delanga, who is pulled really well for Team Abu Dhabi. Nice and straight with pace, sometimes pace off the ball. And he's gotten the support of his field at this time, the captain. And the Howell goes for 15, 75 for six.
Luke Wood is uh, now in the centre, at number eight. And DeLunga has got four for 17. Half an over left. Has he got another one? No, oh, he's my player of the match because I'm adjudicating it. Oh, brilliant. Eat your heart out there. Oh, I love it. Who gets a fight for a D10? Honestly. Mashat Delanga gets one. The first of this edition of Abu Dhabi T10. Deservedly so because uh, he's done everything right in this innings. Still with two deliveries remaining in the over. Just might see a little bit more. We're going to have James Faulkner going without scoring. 75 for 7. Sitting on a hat trick here, the Lunga, and only the second man to get a Pfeiffer in a T10. Probing Tumbe, the other one, here on 10, in 10. So, well, he's also in line for a hat trick. Two to go, two deliveries, that is. Quite extraordinary. Straight up, a catch from Livingston in the night sky. Then uh, change of pace, dug it in, it sits up on the pitch, and is caught by Jamie Overton. Here we go. Oh, not far away from a hat trick. It may have gone for a top mix, but I tell you what, it could have gone down the throat on another night. Just a weave from Sheldon Cottrell. He's quite efficient in the field. If anyone could have gotten it, he's uh, quite a tall man, jumping high on that left hand. Not getting close to that ball. So close, but yet very far. Oh, they knew it. It wasn't that far away. Boy, brilliantly bowled. What a